Hi, and welcome to Nuxtux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to key out or remove green screen from your footage. We'll start with something basic, and then we'll move to advanced, and finally, we'll look at a few techniques to refine your keying, if you will. Starting off with the basic, over here we have this laptop, stock footage laptop, downloaded from Pixels with a green screen. Let's go over to our effects stack, and we'll look up key. Now inside of alpha mask and keying, we're going to have chroma key basic and chroma key advanced. Let's start with chroma key basic. So I'll left click and drag it onto our clip. Turn off the keyframes. I won't be keyframing this. And now we can either click on the color and input a color manually, or we can left click on the color picker, and then we can pick a color from our clip over here. So you can also left click, hold and drag so you can get a sample area. Let go. And there we have it. Our selection has been keyed. If you notice, over on the candles, we're getting some black spots, and that is because the key selection is grabbing areas outside of the screen. Now, there are two ways we can go about fixing this. One of them would be to make a mask around the laptop screen just to isolate the area that we want to key. And the other one is simply to use the variant slider here and reduce the amount. And this will reduce the reach of our key and thus freeing up the candles. But in doing so, if we zoom in here on our clip, you'll notice that the edges of the screen are now showing the green. We'll look into that once we start refining our keying. So let's move on to the advanced. Now for the advanced method, again in our effects, we have chroma key advanced color selection. Let's left click and drag it onto our clip. I'll disable the keyframes again. So this is very similar, except that we get a few extra options. Starting with the invert selection, which is checked on by default. In principle, these work the same. So we can start off by grabbing a sample color. So I'll grab the color picker, left click, hold and drag over an area. So I get an average and let go. Now, when it comes to these boxes over here or these drop downs, we have the color model which has to choose a different way of picking the colors. Now, HCI tends to be heavier, here, but, but as you can see, it does clean up the selection quite well. And it is picking areas of this stool where the puppy is, and that is because this tool is very reflective. Now when filming green screen, you usually do not want to have anything that's reflective. If we look here, you can see that the green is very pronounced on the stool, and that is why our chroma key is grabbing areas of the stool. So I'll leave this to RGB. Next we have the shape, and the shapes really for box is going to grab more pixels so it doesn't leave a gap between the pixels and you can see here it's grabbing parts of our puppy the diamond leaves a gap between pixels and it grabs less of the green screen and well ellipsoid gives you a nice middle ground for the edge mode this is how much feathering you want so anything outside of slope or hard is going to give you a heavy feathering i'll leave it to slope then we have the operation so do you want to subtract the minimum etc choosing the different operation for your mask and then finally down here we have these sliders here which allow us to increase or decrease the reach of the key if you will so if you want to expand the reach into the reds you can simply drag the red slider up if you want to remove the reach from the reds you can simply drag it down you can see as i drag it down more of the green screen is being restored so we can try finding a nice middle point so that the stool comes back we could also draw a mask around our subject in the stool so that we don't have to tweak the values here so much to get this area out as it might damage the rest of our selection. Simply decrease this ever so slightly. And then finally we have the soften and the soften is going to soften the edges of our selection. All right, and that is it for the advanced. Now let's look into some troubleshooting and then we'll come back and clean up those two first clips. Now over here with this third clip, we're going to learn how to bypass some obstacles such as the hair of our subject here blocking the screen. So if we were to add the advanced chroma key and grab a selection of the screen here, you'd quickly notice that this corner of the screen is not being grabbed and this is due to the hair covering the screen. Let's go ahead and fix this and I'll start by simply resetting this effect here. I'll disable it and collapse it for now. And instead we're going to use the key spill mop up. Drag this above the chroma key. I'll disable the keyframes and now with the key spill mop up with the first color picker we're going to grab a sample of our screen now we can go to an area where we can see the entire screen so we grab a better sample and with that if you notice our subject is changing colors as well so let's go ahead and check on show mask so we can see what we're selecting and from here we can start to lower the u gate and this will exclude our subject in the coffee cup and other elements that we don't want to grab. We can also use the saturation threshold, increase it to lower the selection even more. What we're trying to do here is simply isolate the screen. 
So we don't want anything outside of the screen to be grabbed. Once we have a good selection, let's go ahead and look for an area where the hair does cover the screen just to make sure that it does stay a little bit closer to the white and grays. You can increase the tolerance ever so slightly. Lower the U a bit. Decrease the slope. And there we have it. This is decent enough. We're doing this so that we can go to Operation 1, switch it to Luma Adjust, and now we can make our green screen darker. Next, with the target color, we can click on the color itself, and we're going to pick a green color, something bright enough in green. Press OK. And now for the second operation, so Operation 2, we're going to go to Target. And this is going to force our selection, so everything that is white in the mask, this is going to force it to grab this color. And to activate it, go to amount number two and increase the slider. You can see here it is adding this green to our selection or to the area. Once we have that, we can go back to our chroma key to then grab a sample of our new screen. Move to an area where the hair covers the screen and we can start doing some adjustments to try and grab more of the screen as such. As you can see, it's still not a perfect grab. The last thing we can do to refine this a bit more, now we're going to look for alpha operations, which is still inside of alpha mask and keying. Simply add the alpha operations, turn off the keyframes. And now for this one, this is where it gets slightly tricky. We want to grow or rather shrink our selection here. But when we do so directly, if you look at the edges of the monitor, can see that we're introducing some alpha at the edges because the alpha operation is pushing or shrinking the alpha which includes the edges of our footage so for this we're going to go to the chroma key we're going to uncheck invert selection and then inside of the alpha operation we'll check on invert now we can go to grow soft or grow hard and we can control the intensity of the grow with this second slider here so increase it to increase the grow and this will simply cover the edges or the corners that were being excluded. And then finally, once we're done keying, we can go back to our effects, look for key spill mop up again, drag it in, turn off the keyframes. And now we can use the color picker here. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll back up and grab this color, the first color sample. Collapse this, show the mask. And here we only want to exclude the skin tones. Anything that's a little bit too far from the green cast that we might have. And what this is doing, operation one, is dekeying. So it's removing the greens. So we can reduce how much of it it's doing. And then for operation two, we can go to desaturate and desaturate the greens a bit. And there you have it. This is a very decent selection. So with these methods, we can now go refine our other keys. Now, starting with the first example, we could use alpha operations here. The only issue here is that we don't have an option to invert selection and we would run into the same issue. Alpha operation, if we were to shrink soft, it is affecting the edges of our footage. So instead, we're going to delete the first chroma key and we're going to use an advanced key instead. That way, we do our selection. And now with the advanced key plus the alpha operations, we can get a much smoother selection. Just remember to uncheck invert selection for the chroma key and to check on invert inside of alpha operation and you can switch it to grow soft or grow hard. Adjust the threshold as needed or rather the shrink grow blur amount. And that would be enough for this first clip. Moving back to a second clip, we could do the same thing that we did for the third clip that we have, which is to add the key spill mop up before and refine the, the original key. So for this, or turn off the chroma key, disable the effects, Grab our color picker. I'll make sure to grab a nice sample of the green screen. Turn on mask. And over here, what we want to do is make sure that we exclude the dog as much as possible. So the puppy must not be grabbed. Now, of course, by doing so, we are going to grab a lot more of the stool. Okay. Once we have our selection, we can uncheck the show mask. Now with this, we know that it's grabbing the background. So we don't want to de-key. Instead, we want to go to Luma Adjust. And now we can choose to maybe make it darker. And then for the second color here, let's go ahead and grab a green, switch operation two to target, and then we can increase the amount so that we increase the green of our background. And with the amount one slider, we can choose how dark or how bright to make it. 
That way we can have a better selection when selecting the greens behind our puppy. So if I grab here, grab a sample, and there we have it. Only thing is we're grabbing more of the stool with that method. We can always try to fine tune it to try and exclude the stool. So if we were to turn on mask, So it could take some fidgeting to try and get a selection that wouldn't grab the stool. But then again, it's best to simply avoid having such reflective surfaces in your footage. If you're stuck using stock footage, you can always create a mask in rotoscope. And hopefully it's not a shaky footage that you're working with. With that said, once we're done with this part, let's add a second key spill mop up. We'll use the key from the, we'll use the color from the first key. So we'll grab our color picker and sample the color from our first key mop up and remove a bit of the greens. Now to refine the edges, if you remember, all we have to do is look for alpha operations and add it before the key spill mop up number two. Now with this clip, what we're keying is not inside of a screen, but around our subject. So we're simply going to uncheck invert selection and we're going to switch operation to subtract. And we don't have to invert the alpha operation. Instead, we can simply set it to shrink soft and we won't be getting the same issues that we were getting with the clips that have the computer screens. We can add as many alpha operations as we want to and we can set it to blur. And with the second slider, we can give it a light amount of blur around the edges, not too much so it doesn't look fake. And all right, there we have it. We now have keyed out our green screens and we can put whatever we want behind them. That's it for Chroma Key. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? Seriously though, if you have any questions, doubts, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I have two Caden Live classes available on Skillshare. The link is in the description. It is an affiliate link, so it helps a lot if you use it. And you get your first month free by using the link below. All right then. My name is Jonathan. This is Nuxtux Creative Studio. I'll see you next time.